you want here. With two distinct forms to pick from, she can play either DPS or supporting roles in Frost teams. So, just how strong is she? How are her synergies with previous Frost characters? And why is her A3 looking like such a snack? Speaking of snack, this video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat. More about that later in the video. Let's dive right in. Let's start out with Yulon's weapon passive. When casting a discharge, this deals damage proportional to crit rate, attack, and total resistance, scaling up over 15 seconds, with each stack multiplying its damage linearly. Essentially, as long as you're casting a discharge every 15 seconds or fewer, you could think of this as free DPS. Similar to the damage from Liu Ho's weapon passive, this does not scale with any multipliers other than Titan Steps, although it's not recommended focusing on this as the contribution is very small. Yulon can pick between two different forms, Martial Artist and Sweeping Force. You can select one of these in the Options menu of the weapon screen. Martial Artist's form is focused on main DPSing on Yulon, while Sweeping Force is a support option. The base kit is mostly the same, with additional effects based on the form. Let's start out by talking about the Martial Artist form. This branch enhances Yulon's dodge and basic attacks by 40%, and also gives hyperbody to her dodges. It also gives access to a new combo chain, where dodging lets you instantly start with the 4th auto attack in the chain. This skips the low damage half of the combo, and then additionally applies a potent dot. Using the dodge attack into the 4th and 5th autos, dodging and repeating before getting to the last hit is the optimal combo to spam for DPS. In martial artist form, you will also build up stacks of internal strength with every 3 hits of normal or dodge attacks, limited to 1 stack every 2 seconds. This effect stacks up to 10, and up to 5 stacks are consumed upon using her skill, granting a large amount of bonus damage. When copied by Alice, it will maintain the same bonus damage multiplier. Her skill also applies a bonus frost damage buff after use, while restoring dodges so you can keep using her dodge and auto attack combo. When reaching 5 stacks, the skill's cooldown is reset. Because the skill's damage is tied to the stacks of internal strength, this heavily dilutes the value of using Saki for resets, and can even be a DPS loss compared to auto attacking at higher Yulon advancements. When using Sweeping Force Sparrow, using Yulon's Discharge will grant a Frost Damage buff and enter the Anticipate state, which grants you 1 stack of Fighting Spirit every 0.8 seconds, and additionally refunds 1000 Weapon Charge once per 10 seconds. After using any skill, up to 5 Anticipate stacks are consumed, dealing bonus damage and a non-stackable dot effect while also granting a couple seconds of hyperbody. Finally, Yuan's trait boosts final damage, with extra final damage for her martial artist form, and additional damage from her on skill cast damage in Sweeping Force form, with extra bonuses for each frost weapon equipped. This is ideal for triple frost and martial teams, this covers the basics of her kit. Next, it's on to advancements. Yulon's advancements can have varying value depending on the team, so we'll look at a number of comps. A martial Yulon comp with Alice and Fiona, 
then a sweet vanilla comp with Icarus and Rihanna. And finally, a double altered and triple frost comp, both with support you want. Her A1 profunds one internal strength or fighting spirit when consuming three or more, allowing you to get skill resets more frequently in martial artist form, and the full bonus damage more often in sweeping force form. It additionally grants you a bonus 5% final damage, and in martial artist form, increases the dodge and normal attack damage by a further 1.5 times. This is multiplicative to the 1.4 times base value, but is additive with what I call the normal multiplier, containing sources such as Shiro Matrix, Quant, Shield, etc. This is a very important advancement for main DPS Dilon, and slightly less so for support. Next is their A3. This only affects damage from martial artist form by granting an extra stack of internal strain when you don't get any stacks for 5 seconds, allowing you to gain a little extra every rotation when you swap out to your supporting weapons. Other than that, this grants max HP% percent healing when consuming internal strength or fighting spirit, doubled in solo play. It has a cooldown in sweeping force form due to how it's much faster to consume resource there. Her A5 is your typical death defying advancement, and consumes a stack of Yulon's resource to prevent death and heal health once per 60 seconds. Finally, her A6 increases her martial artist form multiplier as well as the final damage multiplier, and the sweeping form final damage multiplier goes up even higher. These effects all stack with the A1 buffs additively, making this advancement very strong. Next, let's take a look at her matrices. Yulon's two-piece set applies a constant dot to enemies around you, while also granting a final damage buff after using any frost skill or discharge, working in the offhand. Her four-piece set increases final damage when consuming internal strength or fighting spirit, while also increasing all elemental damage after dealing frost damage, also working in the offhand. For the following matrix comparison, let's first take a look at the values in sweeping mode. Yulon's matrix is extremely strong. The passive damage it gives really adds up, and makes it even stronger than Fiona's matrix. Icarus's matrix at 3 star is roughly equal to her 0 star matrix with base stats included, but that being said, in a meta team, you end up using both of these anyway. Standard matrices aren't too strong here, as the field time is split a good amount. Icarus would have been the main DPS in this case. How about martial mode? The story with the limited matrices is similar to before, but standard matrices here are much more viable almost rivaling the strength of Icarus and Alice's matrices, as a majority of damage is dealt with Elon on field. This helps close the gap between martial and sweeping mode and lower investments. Wait, what gap? We'll cover that in the comparison section. For now, let's move on to rotations and build. We'll start out with main DPS Yulon, using Martial Artist Mode. In this comp, you'll pair with Alice and Fiona, using Wellspring, Maelstrom, and Yulon's trait. You'll also don their respective matrices, with Alice and Icarus matrices being interchangeable. For Titan stats, the priorities in order are 
Skill damage, normal attack damage, generic damage boost, dodge damage, and finally discharge damage. Weak point, obviously, is a very powerful pick, but it's conditional. Start out by casting Alice's skill, canceling it into Fiona's discharge and skill. If you don't have a discharge, that's fine. The rotation plays out just the same. Switch to Yuan and pop Maelstrom, as well as your relics, and start using her dodge to auto combo, canceling before the final auto to repeat the combo. For this first rotation only, use her skill upon reaching 3 stacks for the A1 bomb. Continue DPSing, using her skill whenever you get to 5 stacks, until around 5 seconds are left on Maelstrom's cooldown, at which point you discharge the Alice, instantly cancelling, and then using her skill, and then quickly cancelling that to discharge the Fiona. From here on out, you repeat the same general rotation, but there's plenty of optimizing to do with her stacks. First off, because you can store up to 10 stacks, and Maelstrom ramps up over 10 seconds, you want to save the stacks for when Maelstrom is fully ramped up if possible. Secondly, you want to optimize with your relics as well, and make sure to save as many stacks as you can prior to your rotation that has relics coming off Kora. Let's look at the home rotation in action. What about with support Yuan using Sweeping Focus? Here, you'll use Icarus and Fiona with Hydro Focus and Torrential Force, as well as their respective matrices. The best Titan stat here is Skill Damage, with Discharge and Generic Damage as the other viable options. For this comp, Precharge is very important, as you need to use Yulon's Discharge to start building up Fighting Spirit. If you do not have a Discharge built up already, you could skip Yulon's rotation at the start, only switching to her as soon as you have a Discharge built up. Otherwise, start out with Yulon's Discharge and Skill, followed by that of Fiona. Switch to Icarus and use his Discharge and Skill, followed by his Return to Loneliness charges before tapping Torrential Force for two more charges. If you do not have a free charge, tap Torrential immediately on Swamp Bean instead. After exhausting all the yo-yo charges, discharge to Yulon and the rotation repeats from here. Due to the high charge granted by Icarus and Torrential Force, coupled with Yulon's discharge refund, you'll be using every character's discharge, spamming Icarus's second skill for constant procs of Yulon's passive, which is essentially a stronger version of Alice. Here's a real time loop of the rotation. The remaining comps are either niche or suboptimal, so I'll cover them briefly. The Altered team uses support Yuan, 
focusing on discharging as much as possible to spam Lin skills, which procs Yulon's passive. As such, Lin A6 is a requirement for this team. You will use Hydro Focus and Torrential Force here, prioritizing discharges to Yulon every 10 seconds, and then feel the discharges otherwise. The Triple Frost team is a copium copy of the Orchard version. You will charge your allies to use Icarus's discharge and follow-up skills. While you get both Alice and Yulon proking their effects on Icarus's skills, you will only be getting half as many Icarus skills to begin with due to not being able to double dip with Fiona, which makes this comp relatively weak. Before we dive into comparisons, remember to take things with a grain of salt. Or perhaps with some tea as well, because this video's sponsor is Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. POV, you're up late degenning and it's time to grab something to bite. You open your cabinet and all you see are these funny cup noodles that you really aren't sure if you should be eating. So boring. You could be eating snacks from Tokyo Treat, a monthly subscription box packed full of trendy Japanese snacks. This month's theme is Fireworks Flavor Fest, and it contains items all the way from lemon salt Kit Kats to ramen and even a mystery purple drink. If you want to go a bit more traditional, Sakurako offers a wide range of authentic Japanese snacks, tea, and this month you get a cute little uchiwa. Since I know so many of you are huge lore nerds, there are booklets included in each box to detail everything about every snack. My favorite was the lemon Kit Kats. It's the kind of flavor you don't even think sounds good until you try it. I got to try so many new things this month, and you should too. I'll leave a link in the description with my discount code. And now, let's get back to the video. Let's compare the various Yulon comps to each other. Here's a chart with four different teams. The standard Fiona Marshall and Sweeping comp, a double altar Sweeping comp, and finally, a triple frost Sweeping comp. This chart will show the total power of each comp, with varying advancements of Yulon. The Sweeping and Martial comps come fairly close to each other at maximum investment, giving us one of the highest A0 to A6 total damage differentials we've seen so far. The Martial comp starts out very weak, but scales the most with advancements. As we saw in the previous tables, if you want to play main DPS Yulon, the A1 is extremely important. The double altered comp is very lax on advancements, and can function well even with an A0 Yulon. Finally, the triple frost comp is just a very copium comp. It's unfortunate that Fiona is such a staple in this comp, but it is what it is. How about Frost versus the other elements? Unsurprisingly, she does raise the bar over Flame by a good bit. The Alice comp is potentially even stronger than the Icarus comp. It's nice to see an older character actually be relevant. The Altered comp is also very close, even at max investment. And as we saw from the previous graph, it only requires A0 Yulon to obtain most of the power. At a Dolphin investment level, Yulon's strength is relatively a bit lower, as a lot of her power is loaded into her matrices. The alternate comps fail to power creep flame at this level. 
but is that really a bad thing? At both FTP Plus and FTP levels, New Lone just slightly raises the bar overplay. Overall, the power creep seems to only be at the maximum investment level, with the rest of the investment levels having a mostly similar ceiling. Yulon is a versatile character who can support a number of different builds, even synergizing with older characters such as Alice and Lin extremely well, bringing damage that is even competitive to the meta build. She power creeps the total damage potential only at the will level, leaving all of the lower investment levels power ceilings fairly close to each other. I'd like to give special thanks to all the new members since last time. There's so many of you. I'm really grateful and love you all. I'll see you guys next time.